This video will show you how to use chunking to solve division. On the screen you can see a division, 86 divided by 3. Remember, chunking means taking away chunks of the bigger number, where each chunk is a multiple of the smaller number. Another name for chunking is repeated subtraction. So, thinking about this, the division is asking me to divide by 3. I've therefore got to find a multiple of 3 that is as close as possible to 86. I know that 2 multiplied by 3 equals 6. I can therefore use my place value knowledge and work out that 20 multiplied by 3 will equal 60. The bigger number that I'm taking chunks away from is 86. If I know that 20 multiplied by 3 equals 60, I'm going to write that underneath the number that I'm dividing by, 86. I can now subtract this chunk from 86 to find another number to chunk from. So I'm going to use a ruler to separate my working out for the subtraction from my answer, and then solve the subtraction. 86 subtract 60 gives me an answer of 26. I've now got to find another multiple of 3 that I can use as a chunk to subtract from 26. Using my times table knowledge, I know that 8 multiplied by 3 equals 24. This number is very, very close to 26. So I'm going to use that as my next chunk. Again, I'm going to subtract this chunk from the number that I had before. So 26 subtracts 24. Before I solve the subtraction, I'm going to use another ruler to draw a horizontal line to separate my working out. Now I'm ready to write the answer to this subtraction. 26 subtracts 24 is 2. I've now got to a number that is smaller than the number that I was originally dividing by. This means I can't do any more chunking. So I must look at the chunking that I have done to get my answer. Looking back at my working out, I can see that 86 is made up of 23s added onto 8 threes, with a remainder of 2. Another way to think of it would be this chunk added onto this chunk with a remainder of 2. This means that 86 divided by 3 equals 28 with a remainder of 2.